welcome to. This really isn't a vlog. It's more of like a. Uh, it's more of like a let's see if this works test. I have Flex Seal here, um, and I have a bunch of cracks in my basement. For those of you that have been following this channel for a while or uh, know my old channel, the the house that I bought, I bought a fixer upper house uh, a long time ago. It was like thirty grand, something like that. Run very much. Um, so as, as you can see behind me, like everything needs to be fixed on here. Uh, it's a work in progress, not really a big deal. So this is just the basement, and so it's really, really not not a high priority. Um, but when I first moved in, the foundation had all these cracks in it. You, know, you can see them all the way up here. They go all the way down. Um, Got some in here. I, you can see I kind of started um, studded it up and everything. You can see the cracks go all the way through. They, they go they go all the way through. Uh, and so I spent a ton of money uh, getting everything fixed. I got all the cracks uh, sealed off, filled with some kind of third com three part compound thing that they use. And um, then I got a new drain system all the way around. Uh, you can see you can see where they dug it up, but. Uh, it's not holding and so uh, I'm doing a temporary fix because as you can see My floor is soaked We had a big rain last night, but I like it the floor. There's a big puddle right here so The floor is soaked so I I keep hearing all the stuff about flex seal So I'm going to give it a go see how this works. There's this crack right here you can see they how they compounded everything, but it it broke free because the foundation is still moving. But it goes, it, the crack broke all the way down, and these little plugs right here that they had, that are they're supposed to be filled, but they're not. <laughs> they're just gushing out water. They're shooting out water. So I'm gonna give uh, liquid rubber in a can flex seal liquid rubber sealant coating. As seen on TV, can we give this a go and see see how well it works? All right. So according to the instructions here or directions, uh, easy to use. Read entire can. Wear face and eye protection, protective gloves and clothing. Make sure the area is clean and dry. Clean, dry, and free of grease, oil, and dirt. Shake well, spray 8 inches to 12 inches from surface. Apply several coats until crack and holes have been filled. Allow 24 to 48 hours to dry before applying another coat. Fully cures in 48 hours. So, <clears throat> we're in a basement, so it's not ventilated. I'm wearing normal clothes. I don't have any gloves. I don't have any glasses or face mask. So we're already breaking all the rules. But it's whatever. At least we're shaking the can. We're shaking well. So plus that's like a really trusting face right there. You see that? You can really trust in that. So listen, we're gonna see how well this works. Alright, eight to twelve inches. Tip here got hot and it felt weird. I didn't actually get hot, it just felt hot. It was really weird.
just gonna leave that the way it is for now. Um, give it, a, give it a, a good few hours, maybe a, maybe a day to kind of cure up, and then we'll spray the rest of the cane on here. So hopefully, this is where the major leaks were. These two little areas. It was mainly this one right here. So I put extra on this one. But, uh, whew, getting high. Whew. Those fumes are they're coming in now. So I know it needs to be ventilated. Um, so yeah, we're just going to let that sit for a day. And then we'll spray it again with the rest of the can. And then next time, next time we get a heavy rain, we'll see what happens. All right, I definitely got to show you guys this. It's been about two weeks since it's rained here. Uh, we're going to check those leaks downstairs here in just a few minutes. But an hour ago, literally an hour ago, it was not raining at all. And then I just went to go get some breakfast. Oh man, you can't even, it's, it's lightened up a lot. Go on, focus. There you go. But uh, 15, like maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes ago, you probably couldn't even see the edge of this porch here. Like right here, you probably couldn't even see to there. Like it was pouring. Like it was, it was, I haven't seen it rain that hard and that fast in a really long time. But uh, now that we have, now that we've had rain, uh, we can finish out this video on testing uh, whatever this stuff is. Uh, the spray, the spray rubber thing. So we'll put it here. Doesn't look like there's any leaks anywhere. You can tell from the last video. Or earlier in the video, I guess. So that still needs to be filled in right here. But so far, there's no leaks anywhere. But it rained hard and fast, three or four days straight. Got all this drywall here from when we cleaned up the other day. So it doesn't look like there's any water anywhere. I had a little leak over here. That looks like it's fixed though. But I don't see any other leaks anywhere else. Looks good. Check out these sump, uh, sub pumps. Uh, they're almost empty. So, yeah, I have no idea what that was about. But it didn't. It hasn't rained in like two weeks, and I just saw, uh, I heard this like weird noise, and it was like, it was almost like a pitter patter, almost like a like a rodent or something. And I looked outside and it was pouring rain. But from what, let's, let's uh, give a conclusion on this real quick. So there's a few spots that it didn't fill in because it's not, it's not a filler. But you can see kind of like right here, how it didn't fill in, just kind of matted over it. But you see I had, that, I had that big crack that went all the way down here like this. And I don't see a single... I don't see a single drop of water anywhere. It's not wet. Yeah, none of it's wet at all. So that, uh, from my opinion, from what I've had paint done from different using using like uh, different kind of rubber sealants like caulk or silicone, uh, any kind of anything like that, I would say that that spread. What is it called? Can't think of what it's called. Um, rubber in a can spray. I would say it's definitely worth it. Uh, I wouldn't use it for like a major foundation job like I had, uh, but just a like, quick, easy fix that I don't need to pay anybody to come out here and fix one crack. Definitely worth it. Yeah.